This is my 24 hour reconnaissance kit. Gonna take it off, break it down, show you what's inside. Vamonos. So I've got BDUs on, woodland camo, the best of all time. I've got a um, sniper's veil, boonie hat, wool cap. See what I got in my pockets. Got some duct tape rolled up. Got a razor blade. Got a little hank of um, bank line, number 36. Got some um, quick fire tabs. And then I've got a big lighter on me. Here we have my recon pack. This is for 48, 72 hours. Lightweight, it's coming in at about nine pounds. Here's my chest rig. First thing with the bag. Got my flag identifying who I'm with. Here in the front, expandable pouch. Got my US military issue rain poncho. The best made, ripstop. Great, great. This is item. your rain gear, right? This is everything, your shelter. Very important to have one of these. Got my recon bag off, I've got my chest rig off. So let's start going through the contents. This is my cover. If you're into the 10 C's, cover. I call it cover clothing. Here we've got a snug pack dry bag. Everything you see here lives inside of that. Minus my sleeping mat and the tarp that's down because all of this is what keeps you alive. If this gets wet, you're gonna have a rough night. So all of this inside the dry bag. This is a snug pack liner. This is just like a microfiber. It's used in conjunction with their jungle bag, but it's so hot now it's, you know, 90, 100 during the day, 60 at night. So this is plenty for a warm condition. Here's the snug pack bivy bag. These two together, bulletproof. This is 100% Gore-Tex. Great, great bag, super tiny. 100% merino wool scarf. This is 32 heat, top and bottom, right? This stuff will keep you warm. Even in the winter, this stuff works great. Super lightweight and tiny. Wool socks, 100% merino wool. I always keep three pairs of wool socks on me. Socks are crucial, very important for your health and your morale. Dry feet, beautiful thing. These are my gun gloves, but these would keep you warm if you needed your fingers uh, warm. Here's a little extra pair of half military issue, half wool gloves, keep you warm. Spare pair of underwear in case things get nasty. In case you have to have a clean up on aisle four. 100% merino wool sweater keep you warm. This is a drum liner. It's a big garbage bag, basically. Tent stakes, they weigh nothing. They're already made. Save you time and energy. Here we've got paracord, always useful. Zip ties, if you can't fix it with zip ties and duct tape, you got problems. Gorilla tape, Bic lighter, candle. So if you're going out for a recon, you gotta ask yourself, are you really gonna sleep? Are you really gonna set up a shelter? Probably not. It's real quick, out and back. The realities of putting up a shelter in nature become real clear real quick, right? Because for a good shelter, if you're gonna use, you know, paracord and hang it, you need two trees that are this far apart perfectly and you need flat ground. Well, that doesn't happen in nature. Nature is random, nature is chaos. So, you do the best you can, you improvise.
There's your home for the night. Right there. That took about, uh, I don't know, maybe three minutes. Pretty luxurious. Got an air mattress. Got a bivy bag. You got shelter above you. Hilton, baby. Let's get into comida. It's another C, right? Comida, food. This is gonna last me for 24, 48 hours. If I had to go longer, then you take little nibbles. So here's what's important. First, what's most important? Liquor. This is whiskey. Next up, we've got salami and cheese. I've got about six of those. Peanut butter, crucial. That'll keep you going forever. Got six of those, little MRE pouch um, peanut butters. This is a little MRE heater, in case you wanted to warm something up if you got some extra time. The Grail, life changer, endless water. Got a little um, stainless steel pot and lid. If I need to boil water, disinfect it. Coming back over here, we've got a uh, big lighter, which can be used to start this candle to make a little stove out of this tin foil if you want to warm something up real quick for morale. Or if you've got a nasty bug you need to cook up, that comes in with the Tabasco. Anything you've got to eat, grubs, worms, nasty things, put a little Tabasco on it, easy peasy. It'll taste perfect. You'll never even know they're eating a big, fat, slimy grub. And here, these are um, nicotine patches. I'm sorry, nicotine pouches. I smoke cigarettes. You can't smoke if you're out in the field, right? It's going to give you away. So you want to find um, nicotine patches, pouches, whatever you need to do to get your fix. But these are great because they don't smell. You got to be real careful with smells and scents. So there's my little nicotine fix. And here we go. That's comida, food. So water is the game changer, right? They say it's three days without water. Might make a little bit more, but water is the key to life. So if you don't already have one of these, order one. This is the Grail. I'm gonna show you how it works. Game changer, lifesaver. I recommend you have a bandana. So that way you can pre-filter the water, keep all the little nasty things out of there. It'll make your filter last a lot longer. It'll be more, more effective. Pull up. Got to put a little muscle into it. Make sure that that cap is off. Then I always prime it on top of that cap. So when I'm talking about the cap, I'm talking about this cap right here, right? That goes here. Make sure that's off when you're pushing down or else you'll get nowhere. And then I always prime it with the clean water. We're good to go. Lifesaver, baby. Communications. Let's see what I got in my bag. You need to get intel. You need to be able to hear the intel, maybe put out intel, but most importantly, hear it. So first up, we've got my Baofeng. Right? This is a ham radio. Basically just a little walkie-talkie. Here's the antenna. Got a little Magellan old-school GPS. Very important. You can give people your location, know where you're at waterproof dry bag to put everything in. Got some really important codes for the radio, a map, write in the rain paper, little pencil up top, marker, very important. You can leave notes, let people know where you've been, where you're going. Headlamp, communication, so you can use that to signal. Binoculars, crucial. Why get so close when you can be so far away and, you know, Survey the situation and recon, this is key. Bic lighter, you can start a fire, communications, let people know you need help. Here's a little battery brick. I can charge my iPhone 7 Plus, about four times full charges off this. It's also got a light. Here's a little dongle. Let me um, charge from this to my iPhone. Also has all three different kinds of adapters in case you come across somebody, you get a new friend. They have a different device than you. Very important, don't carry just what you need, carry what others may need 
that you may encounter along the way. You can make friends that way. Here's a little orange Boy Scout bandana. If I needed a signal or leave a little, you know, placeholder to tell me where I'm at for camp. That's about everything right here. Communications, critical. First aid, got to keep yourself moving, keep yourself good. Let's see what I got in the bag for that. Medical first aid, also crucial. Keep it in a little red sack, something red. Put a red patch on it, paint it red, whatever you got to do so everyone knows, everyone can get to it. Red. Inside, what do I have? Tourniquet, crucial. Nasal pharyngeal airway, crucial. Got a little lube in there. Repel bug spray, very important. Don't want to get bit. These are little hand warmers. Little comfort item, but keep you going. Waterproof matches. Aquatab water filters, disinfectation. Nail clippers, crucial. Tweezers, crucial. Duct tape to wrap your bandages, tampons, pop those open, you can plug a wound, sterile, excellent. Little plunger, if you get up high, fill it with water, you can clean out a wound. Ambisol for your teeth, you get a sore tooth, crack a tooth, cavity, you'll be hurting for certain. Ambisol. Gorilla glue, super glue, for when you get cut, patch you right up. Little whistle. Emergency, help, help, help. Purell hand sanitizer. Inside here I've got Benadryl, Imodium AD, aspirin, and some other goodies. Little pair of scissors. This is a little plastic bag. You get these off the, um, when you're buying groceries at the grocery store. You know, you pull them off to put your vegetables and fruits in. Get a ton of them, anyway. Great little bags. They can be used for all kinds of things. That goes in with medical. Here we go. All of this, keep you going. Let's move on to the chest rig, see what I got going on in there. Chest rig, here we go. Chest rig itself, got magazines in the front, chocolate bars, I'd have other magazines here. Earpiece for communications, microphone, GPS, Ontario Knives Rat 7, little axe, full tang, ferrocerium rod, Nightcore flashlight, straight to strobe, de-escalate situations real quickly, antenna, here's my Sunto MC2 compass, obviously crucial for navigation, and here's the Baofeng radio, that's about it, chest rig, keep it real light and tight. This is a great um, little trade craft piece that you want to have. You can see here on the back side you want to rotate it because if your hands are cuffed, right, you're restrained here, they're probably not going to keep you here because you can get them. They're probably going to put you, you know, behind your back. That's the standard almost all over the world, right? Hands behind the back, you're cuffed. So you want to get to something, it's got to be right here in this area. Hence, <laughs> we turn this, you can see right in that area, if you're lucky enough to keep your pants on, you want to have something like this inside. Right. And if you were lucky enough to get to it, here's what you've got. You've got a uh, razor blade and two bobby pins. And the, bo the razor blade can be used to free yourself or for defense. And then the bobby pins, if you've been practicing how to pick locks or handcuffs, there you go. That's what you want. So that just lives right there in the back. Sun's going down. It's about um, 8.30 at night. So I'm gonna wrap it up. It's time for a little um, fiesta. A little whiskey for you. Salud. Arriba, abajo, al centro y para dentro. Gotcha. Woo. Little liquid courage. That'll keep you going. Remember, it's also good for disinfecting wounds. That's why you carry it, remember. All right, it's been a fun one. I'll catch you up here next time. Adios.